Last year at the 2017 Game Awards, the Industry Icon Award was given to Carol Shaw for her work in game development. And in celebration of International Women's Day, let's take a quick look at Shaw's history with games and her importance on the industry today. Born and raised in Palo Alto in 1955, Shaw grew up in a household filled with technology. Her dad was a mechanical engineer at Stanford, and she spent much of her childhood playing with model trains, building sets, and anything that stimulated her young mind. She blossomed into a gifted mathematician at an early age, and in high school eventually found a love for computers as well. She attended the University of California, Berkeley for both her bachelor's and master's degree in electrical engineering and computer science, respectively, and went straight to work on video games right afterwards. Her first employer? Atari. At Atari, she worked on several games for the 2600, including Polo, Video Checkers, 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, and Super Breakout. She quickly gained notoriety in the company for being one of the best programmers for the 6502, which was the processor that powered the Atari console. A few years later, in 1982, she left Atari and joined Activision, where she eventually made her first solo game for the 2600, River Raid. River Raid, can you make it? River Raid, can you make it? River Raid was a top-down airplane combat game that was among some of the first shoot-'em-ups and was a precursor for games like Twin B and Raiden. You would steer a fighter ship down a river, shooting enemy tankers, helicopters, and other jets for points. River Raid ended up being a huge hit for Activision, selling over a million copies. It also received praise from critics across the board and garnered a couple of awards for best action game. The game even found itself as the first title banned by Germany's Federal Department for Media Harmful to Young Persons due to its, quote, military content. But apart from its accolades and international restrictions, River Raid was also a landmark for female game developers. Despite early computer programming being a mostly female profession in the late 60s, it eventually became a male-dominated field when the home video game console rolled around, and before Shaw, there weren't very many female game designers, let alone ones that would go on to create best-selling titles. The late 70s was a period where the industry was still getting its footing, and people like Donna Bailey, who created Centipede, and Carlo Meninsky, one of Shaw's co-workers, were few and far between. It was rare that companies like Atari would hire or even be able to find someone with the talent and expertise that Carol Shaw had. Although Shaw retired in 1990, her influence has radiated out to all parts of the industry and has inspired many women over the decades to pursue careers in game development. Notable icons such as Roberta Williams, Amy Hennig, Bonnie Ross, and countless others owe at least a little bit to Carol Shaw. Not just for breaking ground among female game developers, but also for bringing women in the industry out of the shadows of her male colleagues and into the spotlight. 